As far as business and company, there wasn't really anything like crazy that happened. He was running into like a lot of trial and area, you know what I mean, which is very normal. And it was hard for him because he was just solo, you know what I mean? And we were all kind of learning this together. There was no hard feelings or anything when I wanted to leave. He like fully understood it, you know what I mean? He was like, as long as you're happy and you want to do it, you know what I mean? Like I fully support it. Yeah, it was never anything that happened that was like, oh, like, I got to leave, you know what I mean? Like I love Mark to death to this day. We're still really cool. We're on the phone all the time. Yeah, we saw eye to eye on it. The process of getting on toy, it was brought up to me, you know what I mean? Like Mike told me, you know, Ed was interested and then like at the time I was on business, so like they didn't want to like step on any toes and talk to me about it. And then like me and Mike always tell, like we're close before the board thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like we've just known each other for years. So it's got to a point to where it was there and I was like, yo, if there's any other home I'd want to be on, like this makes more sense for me because this is a genuine person that I have a lot of love for, I trust and has done nothing but lead me in the right direction of my career. You know what I mean? Like he's he's been there. I was hyped, it made sense. It has been going good, it's been received well. I mean, that part was done for so long. That part was really supposed to come out for business and code stuff but covid came through and just like messed up everything everything got shifted you know what i mean it's back to back like rescheduling as far as boards being done like it is a lot and so when this came up it was kind of like oh like i'm just gonna use this part as like my toy welcome like to the team part i added some stuff to it went out filmed some extra b-roll stuff but then we just used it for the transition you know what i mean and so that's kind of was my way into easing the being on toy as far as the part, things that I thought about for a while, like the back over crook was kind of on my mind for like a, a while. Tray flip nose in the front nose, now I heal out. I actually originally front nosed it, and I was gonna come out in the first version of the part for business. And then I was chopping up with the homie, and I was like, "Yo, like, he's like, oh, you think you could nolly back heel out of it?" And I was like, "Oh, like, I think I can." And then one day I was at like the old Nike part. I was just like there. I just started like going in, like train front nose, nolly back heel, like on the ledge they had there. Like I was like trying to do the whole thing and just like pop out, and it felt good that day. And I was like, bro, like, I think I can go do it. Like, I'm like, I'm ready to go do it. Like, 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 let's go do it tomorrow. We went there and just started getting into it. You know I mean, I'd already scaled the spot in front noses, so I kind of had the concept down of how like I needed to do it. And first couple try, you know, just trying to hold the front nose. And then like once I started to make it to the end, it started like actually getting to flip on. I was like, oh man, like I think I can actually do it. I like was sticking them here and there. And then like that one was my ideal one on my head, how I wanted to land it. And it worked, you know what I mean? And so I was just super stoked. I was like, let's go. Like, you know, Sometimes you have a trick, a certain way you want to land it, and you go there, and it happens, and then your mind, you're like, man, I did it, I want to do this trick. As far as the Olympics, you know, kind of coming to an end for me, the whole like trial and qualification process, I'm focused on just skating and progressing, you know what I mean? I feel like when you're into constant skate, you kind of get on the same regimen of just like trying to perfect everything on a competing aspect to where like you're kind of doing the same things over, you know what I mean? You're kind of in this rabbit hole of just like contests. And so now that I kind of have the freedom just mentally, I'm just trying to focus on, you know, filming again, jumping to the part, whether it's for toy, Nike, whatever. I just kind of want to just stack, try to get ads, you know what I mean? Just keep it going.